In the previous videos we have selected and installed our operating system. We installed MetaTrader with the help of Play on Linux. After that we made a backup of our running system including the installed programs which we created as an ISO file. And in the last video, we installed VirtualBox and created our first virtual PC in VirtualBox. However, before we start our first virtual computer in VirtualBox we would like to make some adjustments. We had already made the settings for the hard disk and RAM in advance during the setup with the wizard. And VirtualBox already shows us our first instance. Now we click on settings to set up a few things. Let's first click on the tab labeled advanced. Now we have the possibility to make settings for the clipboard. This means that we can work with copy and paste across the virtual machine boundary. I also want to allow drag and drop in both directions here. This allows us to drag and drop files with the mouse. You can see that the snapshot feature also exists in VirtualBox and we could specify a different storage path here. For now, let's leave everything as it is. In the next step we click on the storage tab. Here we have the possibility to mount a CD image. And that's exactly what we want to do now. To do this, we click on the icon next to the CD and select the ISO file we created. In case you haven't seen the video, this is a backup of our first installation that we packed up using the MX Snapshot program and saved as an ISO file. This will allow our virtual computer to boot from this ISO file the next time we start it. Next, we click on the setting for system, where we first disable the boot medium for the floppy disk. The rest of the settings can be used in most cases. If you want you can now click on the tab for the processor and set the number of processors used if you have a computer that supports this. If you are satisfied with your settings, click OK here. Now we are done with the setup and can start our virtual computer by clicking on the appropriate button. If everything is set up correctly, we should now see the startup screen of MX Linux. Here we can see that the machine we have just created is able to process keyboard and mouse input. To start our operating system, we select the first entry in the menu selection and now we should see that Linux is starting. For me the start of the whole operating system takes just about 10 seconds. As a short function test I start play on Linux and check if MetaTrader 5 is ready after the installation. Since this is the case I now shut down my first created virtual machine again. The reason is very simple. We will now duplicate this machine inside VirtualBox. To do this, we right click on our first instance in the virtual box window to bring up a context menu. This menu also contains the entry clone. Afterwards a wizard is started which shows us which settings we can use to clone our current configuration. I give it a new name and leave all other settings in the first installation window as they are. After that we click on next. Here we have to decide if we want to create a full clone or a linked clone. A linked clone can share certain resources with the original. But here we choose the full clone. After that we click on the button labeled clone. Now this can take quite some time. However, this is still much faster than always reinstalling from scratch and installing all the programs individually. Also, by cloning, you are able to achieve consistent settings and avoid human error. If we have done everything correctly, our second instance will appear in the virtual box window after some time. We can now start and run both machines simultaneously and independently. Okay, that's it for this video. You have now created your first two virtual machines for your trading server within VirtualBox and should be able to start MetaTrader on both devices. If you have any questions or suggestions about the content of this video, just send us an email. We always answer personally and usually within 24 hours. If you want to set up your own Algo trading server farm then just subscribe to this channel. If you need faster or better results for your own Algo trading, just check out the premium course on our website. For now, thank you for your attention and we'll see you in the next video.